Hey guys, what's going on? This is John. Real quick gaming news. Uh, and this is really fascinating actually. Uh, now you guys are probably familiar with this game, E.T. for the Atari 2600. Just in case you guys haven't heard of it, came out in 1982 for the Atari 2600, obviously based on the very popular E.T. movie. Supposedly Atari had spent close to $21 million for licensing fees just to produce this game. At the time, to give you an idea, in the early 80s, it took about six months to, from beginning to end to develop a game and release it to market. This game, supposedly, what people were saying, it took about six weeks. They rushed it to the market for the holiday season. They produced 5 million copies, only uh, like 1.5 million sold, which is quite a bit, but they were left over with 3.5 million extra copies. The game is terrible. It doesn't really play very well. It's considered to be one of the worst games of all time. It was a straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, for Atari at the time, and Atari ended up losing millions, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, just on this project alone. So what, what the, you know, rumors up to this point, up until recently, stated that uh, what Atari did was they took about 14 trucks to Alamo Gordo, New Mexico, and buried it into like a landfill, all these loose copies and box copies of uh, E.T. that they had that didn't sell. No one really knew for sure what happened to these games, but recently, actually this weekend, uh, they actually did a documentary, and they went to the site and they unburied everything and they found, they confirmed that the rumors and legends are true. There are still ET, there were actually buried ET copies in there. Some of them are still in shrink wrap. Uh, this is, it's actually gonna be a documentary and it's gonna be exclusively on Xbox. So I'm not sure as far as the release date of this documentary, but I'm sure it's gonna be really, really fascinating. Uh, but I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys have heard about this before or knew about this, but let me know what you guys think about not only the game ET, but what you guys think about uh, them unbearing it. My, you know, I know that the people actually, uh, the people who are working on the documentary got copies of the game that were in the landfill. I imagine people are going to start selling copies of this game uh, on eBay or whatever, and that's kind of ironic because these games never sold initially, and now the fact that they're part of gaming history or folk folklore or whatever, now people are going to want to buy them, which is kind of ironic. So, <laughs> anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, real quick video, I just want to talk about it, and let me know what you guys think. Thanks.